What's up guys, today we're going through more transitions and effects from this edit. Moving on to this explosion video effect. And for this one, I'm going to do a basic and an advanced way to do it. First of all, let's copy and paste a video clip. And on the top layer, let's add a magnetic mask and then click on the subject and just click analyze up here to track that mask. Next, let's drag in a VFX asset and you can get these for free on Production Crate. I'll leave the link to this one in the description. So let's drag that in between our two video layers and we can add some basic tracking to this. So if we select the explosion layer, go to the transform tool here and select tracker. And on the tracker, we can make this nice and small. And I'm going to track the, the foot here and then click analyze. So you'll see that the green box is now tracked to the foot. And if we go to tracker, make sure that offset from tracker is selected and only position and rotation are selected. And then we can go to transform and just move this explosion up into position. I'm actually going to deselect rotation and just use position for this one. So now that's added some basic tracking, kept the explosion in the right place for us. We can also copy and paste the explosion layer and move it above both of our video layers, go to the transform tool and flip this upside down and move it below. So the bottom lines up and then go to the blend mode and select soft light. And then we can add a blur effect. Let's add the Gaussian blur onto this and turn the blur amount up and also the boost blur. And this is going to create a bit of a light reflection on the floor. So if I disable this, you can see the glow that it adds but I think that adds a nice little touch to the explosion effect. So next I'm going to add a shake effect. So first of all, I'm going to go up to my titles here and go to adjustment layer. Adjustment layers don't come with Final Cut Pro, but it's a free plugin that you can download. I'll leave a link to it in the description. And it's really useful because we can drag it in over our video clips and add effects to all of these video clips using this adjustment layer. So on this adjustment layer, I'm going to add a shake effect. So over here, in in the effects tab. There are some built in shake effects into Final Cut Pro. I'm going to use this shake effects pack here just because it has more customization. I'll leave a link to this shake effects pack in the description. On this one, I'm going to use the bounce effect. So let's just drag that onto the adjustment layer and you'll see it adds a nice little shake to the video. And if we go over here to the settings, we can change all of the different parameters for this shake effect. So it's super customizable. If I turn up the shake cycles and you'll see how it just adds more shake to the video. If you have a lot more movement in your shot and you want to get into some advanced 3D tracking, then you will have to invest in some sort of 3D tracking plugging. The one that I use, which I can recommend is the M Tracker 3D by Motion VFX. I'll leave a link to it in the description if you want to go check it out. So to use this, what we need to do is drag the M Tracker 3D effect onto our video clip, go to the parameters and over here we can click track. This will analyze the frames and create some track points for us. And then over here we need to click copy the track. Next step is to go to the titles tab, go down to M Tracker 3D and drag in the drop zone basic and just trim that to the video. And then if we go up to the T here to have a look at the parameters, we can click on paste track and then it will say done tracking data saved successfully. Click OK. Now in the drop zone over here, if we click the drop zone, go to the explosion VFX over here, click on that and then click apply clip. That will add it into the video. Next, we need to position it. So if we click on this here and then hold down shift, and select the point where we want to put it. So right here. And then if we quickly scrub through, we can see that it's tracked to the video. Next, we need to move the position. So over here, we want to go to content position and just bring the position down into position. And then I've got to create a layer for the subject. So if we go back and copy and paste our video clip, and on this layer, if we delete the effect, go to the magnetic mask effect and select the subject and just track that quickly so we can create a layer for the subject. Click done. Now we have the explosion behind the subject and the explosion is tracked to the video. 
Moving on to this next effect where we have this liquid effect behind the subject. To do this, we need to create a copy of the video clip and add the magnetic mask effect and click on your subject, then click analyze. Now we can copy and paste the video clip again. And on the middle video clip, if you go to the effects tab and go to distortion, there's a bunch of different distortion effects we can add to this. The underwater one effect is the main distortion effect. So let's add that to the middle video clip. And then on the parameters, if we turn the size down and the refraction up, we can get this liquid effect. If you like this effect and want some more presets, then I'll leave a link to this liquify effects pack in the description. It comes with all of the distortion tools plus some new ones in this one effect. So you can create some really cool, unique designs. Finally, to color grade this project, what I did was added in an adjustment layer. So over here in the titles tab, if I go to adjustment layer, so all we need to do is drag the adjustment layer down into the timeline. And this new adjustment layer already has the LUTs built into it. But if you haven't got the new one, then what we can do is go to the effects tab and go to color and then go to custom LUT effect and add that onto the adjustment layer. Next, we can go to LUT here, go to the drop down menu. For this one, I added the Chrome LUT. I'll leave a link to this in the description. You can actually download this LUT for free. And these LUTs will give us a quick color grade, which is really nice when you don't have a lot of time to spend on color grading. You just want a quick color grade to finish off a project. And then using the mix, we can change how much it affects the video clip. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Subscribe for more videos like this if you want to learn how to use the new Final Cut Pro 11 a bit more. And I'll see you in the next one.